Well, right now, who knew a troll could cause such controversy? Breckenridge Town Council has ordered the art installation, that giant troll, to be taken down. As Liz Gillardi tells us, a lot of people are upset. The town of Brackenridge was surprised by the trolls popularity and all the people that it drew to this residential area. They started dismantling it this morning and the trolls future is still up for debate. Walking up this trail, people came to see one thing. And uh, it's been really enjoyable for me having the troll up there. A giant wooden troll named Isaac Hartstone. An art installation commissioned by Breckenridge Creative Arts for $40,000 and built out of recycled materials by Denmark native Thomas Dambo. Just the sculpture is unbelievable. The, I love art and how he recycles wood and makes it like in just in, into anything is unbelievable. Despite pleas from residents and the artist himself. First customers today went to go see him at 9 a.m. and they saw him get torn down, so, and then came in here. <laughs> the troll is already gone. Brandon Munoz, owner of Stirpan Creamery, doesn't understand why the town would get rid of an attraction that he saw as wildly successful. October and then November are two of our slowest months out here in it's just crazy how much business that troll brought here and to other small businesses around the county. But the town cited concerns about traffic, parking, trash, and safety concerns in the winter with a snow-covered trail. As for what happens to the troll next, it's still unclear. We were able to actually um, salvage a lot of key elements of the piece. Those are going to go into a safe storage facility in town uh, with the hopes and the possibility that we are working to uh, potentially in the future find a new location for it. On Facebook, the artist may be trying to find a new location. He he asked, do you have a warm home for a heartbroken troll? That's a shame. It makes me sad that they've taken it down. Liz Gillardi, Denver 7.